All right, so here today we got some very, very, very sick information. This is going to be the global launch information you need to know. The first global, again, update over here for 7DS Idol. 7DS Idol is about three hours away from officially releasing. So get excited, get hyped. A lot to go through here today. If you are new to the channel, like and subscribe. We're going to cover as much as we possibly can about the game. Give you some guides and such that you can at least look forward to and um, help clear or at least push through the game for its official launch. First things first, let's start over here. What is the timing for release? Again, about 20 PDT grand opening, about again, three hours from now. So get excited over here, all the timings for your, again, uh, time zones going again, just uh, transfer or just calculate it. Pretty simple. Uh, just one day to go. The wait is almost over. We are so excited to finally meet our new adventurers. Are you ready to dive into 70s Idol with us? Go to pre-register for 70s Idol Adventure. Again, via that link over there. With a day one teaser over here for the grand launch. Get excited, get ready. Again, day two over here, day one. Only about three hours away, as again, this was tweeted um, 17 hours ago. So be excited. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> I hope you are. Uh, we do have a lot of the global update itself. We now have that. Uh, this is what we're going to get for, again, the global update. 812 Monday maintenance notes. This is what we're going to be actually getting. We officially have a confirmation. We're getting Dragon Sin of Wrath Meliodas officially, which is very, very sick. That is what we're going to be looking forward to with our newest update. Um, again, I don't know if they put images out just yet. Um, they did, yeah. So we're getting Lost Fade Meliodas as our first actual banner in game, which is really, really sick. That is again technically Festival Meliodas here from from Grand Cross. But again, we don't really have Festival characters here. They're all of the same ranking until they add a new thing that that destroys that theory. But we have our character here again, Lost Fade Meliodas, our first ever banner for Global New Legendary Hero Dragon of Sin, uh, Sin of Wrath Meliodas has been added. Dragon Sin of Wrath Meliodas can be acquired through the Hero Summon. Again, we have this over here where his chibi version and again his grand cross art being just ported over similarly sends the affiliation legendary attribute type uh and then again uh strength and then dps Obviously, Meliodas is a DPS character, although anybody's shocked about that. Uh, charge is this over here. Deals damage equal to 101% of attack on target. Blaze burst upon landing a critical hit. Deals damage equal to 199% of attack to the target and reduces own cooldowns by 0.5. Virtual body doubles. Deals damage equal to 815% of attack to the target. Grants triple step for uh, to self for 7 seconds upon successful stack. Triple step increases crit chance by 15% and attack speed by 10%. Dragon Set of Wrath Meliodas and Fox Sin of Greed banner again right up is what we're going to get over here so Bon and Meli we're going to get two banners uh, for the game we actually already had this for the start of our actual um what is it beta and we've already gone through that but i would say melee is just a better pick overall because uh, probably given he's melee they're gonna make him pretty busted i'm guessing so uh probably go for uh for melee over here uh, we also have system content improvements a server merge will happen this basically happens to allow players to not have like a massive head start and it just kind of helps uh, to make the game a little bit more uh better for players to go through and uh it's good for what it is uh, and also if any dead servers exist it just merges to fix the dead servers and everything uh, but probably they're trying to make it one version as global's now launching so obviously the server merge has to go through that's the point dungeon content improvements the difficulty of gold and hero xp dungeons and lab have been expanded up to 200 so more content for you to go through the knockback community effects has been added to labs uh, sample dungeon advent and stage final boss contents the difficulty of defense again has been adjusted and surgeon effects are improved with better visibility changes to pre-registration check-in rewards draw power now is launch festival and okay so it looks like multiple hero summon tickets for the festival. Again, before you have one there, you now have one here. So instead of draw power, uh, those again are what they're going to go for here. Launch uh, festival hero selection ticket. Selection summon ticket over here. You'll get one of these instead now here, here. But now selection ticket over here. Then again, draw power 500. So big buff there. And then again, another instead of summon ticket, a selection ticket. So two selections, one summon, which is very, very cool. Let's see who we can select with these characters. Hopefully Meliodas is one of them, which I think he should be actually. Actually, so get excited for that shops and packs we have new packs over here to look forward to they're all dragon sin of math uh of math great dragon sin of wrath meliodas um oriented so there's that and then again some other uh bundles there some combat class achievement packs all bundles the game does have a lot of bundles to go through so obviously they're going to need to make money and that's the point but again there's a lot of packs similar to sla but um that is there bug fixes and more uh hero again description of certain heroes applied um wandering soul over here this we actually have a change over here a lot of stuff so i'll read through this later on uh when i make like a more in-depth guide of the characters and such monster skill fixes 
uh, for these characters over here, it's actually the skill damage has been adjusted from 150 to 120, so nerfing some characters here, similar to SLA, making it a lot easier, but uh, that's the point of what they're what they're trying to do with these updates here, but not bad, pretty, pretty good stuff here. There's also the ongoing updates tab got updated. This is old, so we don't care. Perfect, we don't care. All right, back on the um, patch notes itself. So this is the patch notes. Uh, 812 maintenance notice. Let's see what we have over here. So again, new legendary hero, Dragon Center of uh, Wrath Meliodas added. Dragon Center of Wrath Meliodas and Fox and Bond raid up banner. Server merge, end of the ongoing events. We're going to lose the Bond raid up. We're going to lose the Generation Jericho raid up, Matrona raid up. End of these existing packs. All these packs will be removed from the game. Bug fixes will happen. And again, the game did do a lot of improvements. Since the last time you've played, they've actually buffed a lot of things. They buffed the raids, they buffed the uh, drops. They also uh, buffed a lot of characters, making them much better and help them at least kind of achieve much more of a um, kind of higher ranking instead of being like super weak, right? So a lot of characters, instead of them sucking, a lot of them actually got some decent buffs there uh, to push them forward and be um, a lot more helpful. So there is a big W there. And then again, season over here, August week three, and then week four, we do have the event schedule, 818 to 819. Attribute before was Dex and then Int and then over here Strength and Vitality. I'm guessing because of our banners we're getting for the uh, the actual game here to help Global make it a little bit easier if you're pulling for things to at least have a bit of a, a easier chance clearing what is currently, again, the, uh, the events, correct? So very cool stuff overall. Those are the patch notes. Again, we are getting a brand new character. That is Melios. Should you summon? I don't know if you really need this, but real quick, it's the starter banner. So just go for him, correct? Uh, so far, we've had some decent characters. We've had some mid ones. I will say for the most part, though, uh, it is Meliodas making this anything far, anything from uh, broken is insanity. It is your first Meliodas in game other than the Tavern Meliodas. So definitely if they want to do this correctly, they better make him super busted. And I'm expecting him to be super busted. So I will test him when he drops over on Global. Again, we're three hours out from the release for me recording this video. I'm probably going to drop it right when I finish it. So uh, probably it'll be uh, from when you watch this video, just count about two hours, 30 minutes. We'll say that uh, by the time I upload it and you're good to go. That's when the game releases. So. Very cool stuff on that front. Again, a lot of stuff also happening. A lot of changes that we were going to wait for. They don't really give us the in-depth changes until the update goes live, until they actually put those changes forward. So wait till then. I'll update you if anything big changes. But again, server maintenance, uh, sorry, merge is happening, making it a lot more accessible for players uh, to kind of go through. And there is that. The OBT is ending. So if you're playing the uh, the open beta version, your, your entire uh, history will transfer over. So if you want to go and play that account, you can. Or if you just want to redownload it for the global version, you're more than welcome to. That's, again, what you can look forward to here with, again, the global um, launch. But very cool stuff. Again, I'll see you soon. Remember, timing is over here if you need it. This is what they're they're cooking up again on that front. A lot of changes. If you did take a break from the game, just remember it's a far different game than it once was. A lot of content added, a lot of expansions added, a lot of different things making the game much better and much easier to play. They did also add a lot more bundles since then. Uh, so again, it's a little bit annoying to go through all those pop-ups, but uh, if, if you are saying like, is it free to play friendly? Is it worth it to, to play and not spend money? I'll definitely say so. And again, if you're planning to spend like 10 bucks, 20 bucks here and there, there are some good bundles that at least be worth it, right? Uh, that is still Netmarble's like specialty, making decent worth it bundles versus spending like 30 bucks for one multi uh, like some other games not name calling not name dropping either all right so take care have fun that's what i got for you here today peace out and that has been the video get ready three hours away 70 idol releases globally yes globally